C41 is a chromogenic color print developing process introduced by Kodak in 1972, replacing the then used C22 process. It is the most popular film process in use today. Improper mix or use of C41 powder can result in severe color shifts or significant under or over development of the film. In this video, we are gonna go through the step-by-step -step instructions on how to properly mix your C41 powder so that whenever you develop and scan your film, you can achieve the highest quality possible. Most color films and some black and white films are C41 types, so this process will allow you to work with many different kinds of film. Before we jump into this video, let's talk about what stuff you will need to properly mix the contents with in your C41 powder kit, which include developer, blix, and stabilizer. First things first, and that is safety. You are going to need gloves and a mask because yes, you are working with toxic chemicals and you don't want to breathe any of that in. And you don't want it to make any contact with your skin because if you do that over a long period of time, it's not good for your health. And we're all about having good health here. So make sure you have a mask and gloves. You can use gloves that you find in your closet, like your winter gloves or something, or you can order some off Amazon. And you know, plenty of us have masks laying around, especially with how the world is right now with everyone needing masks. So for your safety, make sure you're wearing a mask and gloves. Second, we are going to need a pitcher and a funnel and also a stirring stick or spatula. And the reason that you are gonna need this is because, the pitcher is because the instructions do call for a thousand milliliters of water and you need to be able to measure out a thousand milliliters of water because if you don't, then you're not gonna have the right, you know, water to powder ratio. So make sure that, that you have that. And for the funnel, you do need to transfer the liquids from the pitcher into a holding container. So it would make it a lot easier if you have that. And then stirring, of course, you're gonna have to stir all the powder within the water. So make sure that you have all of this stuff. And then last but not least, you're going to need a amber container or a plastic container that holds at least 1000 milliliters, of course. And I have a label maker, but you can also use tape and you can permanent marker and also a thermometer. You can use basically any thermometer. I use literally a meat thermometer because that's the only thing I had lying around. You are gonna have to mix everything at a certain temperature, so that's why you need a thermometer. But anyway, that's all you guys will need. So everything that I have mentioned will be in the description down below for Amazon links. They are affiliate links, and they do help me out. So that would be great if you guys purchase them through those links. But anyway, that is all that we need. So let's get to mixing. First, we're going to mix the developer. The developer needs to be mixed at a temperature of 102 degrees. As you can see here, I'm going over 102 degrees because by the time I start mixing, it will have cooled down. It's okay to be a little over. Yeah. Add 800 milliliters of water to your pitcher. Try to be as accurate as possible. Empty some water if you need to. After that, I checked the temperature of the water to make sure that it was as close to 102 degrees as possible so that I could start mixing the developer. It says to stir the water while putting in the developer. I tried, but it was super hard, so I just dumped it in and then I stirred and it ended up working just fine. Make sure you get all the powder because sometimes the powder likes to stick to the sides of the container, so stir until the powder is completely dissolved. After that, you wanna add 200 milliliters of water to your mix to equal a total of 1,000 milliliters. Take your time with this step. Do not rush because you can't dump out what you already mixed. So make sure that you are accurate. The last step for the developer is to add your mix to your container. Use a funnel to make things easier and less messy for you. That's the last step for mixing the developer. Next is the Blix. Make sure you wash your pitcher and funnel after mixing the developer because you don't want it to contaminate the Blix. For the Blix, follow the same instructions as you did with the developer. Add 800 milliliters of water to your pitcher. Make sure you're wearing gloves and a mask when you're mixing Blix. It's the most toxic of all powders, so open a window and blow a fan for your safety. Again, make sure your water temperature is at 102 degrees before mixing. You first want to mix in Blix A. Here I try to stir while adding the powder and it sorta of worked. Yeah. Yeah. 
Mix all the way through and then add Blix B. After I added the Blix B, the water did rise to 1000 milliliters, so there was no need for me to add any more water after that. After adding Blix B, you will notice that the mixture will start to fizz and cause bubbles due to the chemical reaction between Blix A and Blix B. Definitely felt like I was in a chemistry class again with this stuff. The final step here is to add your Blix into a container using a funnel. After I added Blix to the container, I made sure to shake it up and make sure everything was mixed properly. Here again, we are washing the funnel and the container because we don't want the Blix to contaminate the stabilizer. So make sure you thoroughly clean that before moving on to the next step. And the last step, which is mixing the stabilizer. With the stabilizer, you don't have to have the water be at any specific temperature. Room temperature is okay. Add 1000 milliliters of water. There is no need to add 800 at first and then add more later. This is honestly the easiest step. All you have to do is add stabilizer and mix. It dissolves pretty quickly. And the last step here is to add your stabilizer to the container and that's it. You have completed all the steps to mixing your C41 kit at home and you are ready to start developing. All right, and that's all for this video, folks. You can now develop and process your own film at home. Isn't that exciting? Oh my gosh, I was so excited when I was able to do this. So I definitely know whenever you guys are done with all this, you guys are gonna be pumped. Whenever you see your film negatives come out, it's gonna be great. But anyway, that's all. So if you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, turn on bell notifications yet, then be sure to do that because it really helps me out and helps me grow my channel. Until next time, guys, bye. Bye, guys. Like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel. See on both sides like Chanel.